All right guys, so I have a Langmuir Systems table with a Everlast 82i plasma cutter and the thing's phenomenal. So this is a little bit how I set up my, or I design parts. The table and the plasma cutter are so effective and efficient that I will use a part, or I'll use it to cut or fabricate a part for me um, when I'm doing some of my side work. Instead of laying out and cutting physically, this is a lot faster and a lot better result. So I have Fusion 360, that's what I use for my cat in cam. And right now I'm gonna make a design. Um, I can do a gusset, I could do a tab, I could do just about anything I need to. So let, let's just do like a little tab. Let's start off in this corner. I like to build everything right, right in here. But I, let's do a two by one wide, two tall tab. And what we'll do is we'll add a little circle to the top. And once I meet the corner, what I can do is now grab some scissors and take all the lines out I don't need. Now if I need to put like a little bolt hole right here, I can just do a half inch hole here. There to lock it in. And then say I have to cope it to a tube. Grab the circle. 0.75. So I have a three quarter inch tube right there. You know, right click again. Now I'm going to grab the scissors and I'm going to take out some of these lines associated with what I don't want. And now I have a little tab with a hole in the middle away from this saddle on a three quarter inch piece of tube. So now what I want to do is just for, this is a uh, method I found that works really well. And keep in mind, I am not trained on this. I've just figured this out on my own. What I want to do is I want to go to solid, extrude, click on that. I'm just going to make it a quarter inch, just so quick and done. And there's my tab. And now I can um, produce the G-code for it and put it on the table and cut it. All right, now I was able to post-process it, and now I bring it into fire control. Uh, this is Langmuir Systems proprietary uh, CNC control software. So I've uploaded the image, and now I need to find a place on the steel that's suitable for the cut. So this is a spot right here. I'm gonna take the torch, put it right on the edge of it, hit set to zero, and we'll be good to go. All right, so I just fished it out of the water. Um, not a whole lot of dross on it. The little bit that is on it, it's not even hard to take off. It just, you know, kind of, kind of one of them things, you know. It can come off with the grinder, but I try not to use this grinder, grinder as much as possible, to be honest. All right, guys. So I hope this gives you some information on a tool that you can use. Uh, the implementation in my fabrication flow or my workflow has been amazing. And uh, there's something I didn't touch on is this is my second plasma table. I had the original one when they did their like startup thing, Langmuir system, and I had a different plasma cutter on it. I got to a point where I didn't know enough about it to tell if it was a table or the plasma cutter. Turns out it was a plasma cutter. I had a different brand on it and I could not get anything repeatable. I switched over to this one. I've had it for about two years now, and I've been able to make enough money to buy the better plasma table. Um, I run this thing almost every day, if not every other day, and that's on my side work. Like, I get orders from Etsy, and it's been able to help me support my family. As a, I'm a teacher, I'm a full-time teacher. We don't pay teachers very well. This has uh, been able to, this has been a tool once I added the, uh, the Everlast 82i, this has been a tool that has been able to put food on the table for my family. Get one if you can. Uh, if not, start saving up to get one. But I have a $48,000 table at my school that I run all the time, and I cannot get the precision out of that table as I can get out of this one. I just need a little bit bigger. Well, I need more space. But anyways, hope this helps.
Thanks for watching.